On October 10th, 2019, a three-year-old girl was admitted to the hospital after being severely beaten by her mother's boyfriend. The child was beaten so badly that part of her brain had to be removed, and doctors stated that the little girl only has a 10% chance of surviving. She was trying to eat dinner, and she, she ate prior to that, like a couple hours ago. So she wasn't really hungry, so she was picking at it. And that must have triggered something in his brain, and he went crazy. Picked her Who's up by he? my boyfriend at the time. And so I was in the kitchen, and he, I heard a slam, and I came out, and he had my daughter by the throat on the wall. And how old is your daughter again? It's three. Three years old. What did you do? Crying hysterically and screaming, saying, give my phone so I could call 911. And what happened? He told me we're not calling 911 because she already had prior bruises to her on Sunday. Because she what? She had prior bruises to her on Sunday. She was abused on Sunday? Yes. By him? What did he do on Sunday? He was trying to drown her in the tub. <laughs> How many times prior had he abused her? Well, they weren't here as bad, but at least four times. He was abusing your daughter, but you put up with it because you wanted this guy. No, I didn't. You wanted this 19-year-old. No, I did not. Yes. No. That's exactly what happened. You, you can believe what you wanted to. I know what I believe. No, well, and I know what all your people believe. You're not in this situation. Believe. You don't understand. No, I wouldn't allow to be in your situation. I wouldn't allow anybody to hurt my children. You think I allowed them to hurt my children? Yes. yes. No, my daughter. I tried to stop you it multiple times. You did allow it when you no, took I didn't. her there were multiple to the times. therapist and came home with it. You allowed her when you didn't bust out that window and tell the cops, lock the <laughs> up. You allowed it. No, I did. I don't need a test to tell me that you failed your daughter. I don't need a test to tell me that when it came to your own daughter who's fighting for life, that you're a coward. I don't need a test to tell me that you're one of the most miserable mothers. Thank you. I've you. Ever you. Oh, you! Oh, look at the fight in her. That's the fight everybody wanted to see when you had your daughter. That's the fight. Yeah, look at. She's pushing the door. No, it's I not because of me. I hope you crawl into a hole. Okay, thank you. And you just go away forever. And thank I hope you. you'll never get your daughter again. <laughs> Just two days after Samantha's appearance on my show, she was arrested and charged with felony counts of endangering the welfare of children, obstruction of a child abuse case, and hindering apprehension for prosecution. Bail was set at $200,000. Samantha's daughter tragically succumbed to her injuries and passed away after the show taped. Rest in peace, Arabella. Samantha failed her lie detector test and was exposed for knowing that her boyfriend, Jared Burgess, was beating her daughter. And tragically, a few weeks after the show, Arabella succumbed to her injuries and died at the age of three. Burgess was ultimately convicted of third-degree murder for the death of this innocent child. And now, I'm happy to report that Samantha has been convicted of aggravated assault an involuntary manslaughter. She will be rotting in prison for the next 12 to 25 years. <laughs> Even though justice has been served, nothing can make up for the senseless violence Arabella suffered and her tragic death. I hope Samantha spends her time in prison regretting her poor decisions and the fact that she still lives while her daughter's life was cut short. And I know my viewers feel the same way. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action.
Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.